Happy Colas Head Munching Day! The state of the Sanderson came out as it does every year on December 19th, which just so happens to be Brandon Sanderson's birthday. Happy 44th! There's a lot of stuff to cover here, so we're gonna do it chronologically. Here's a preview. So the things that are currently out, the Warbreaker Leatherbound. It's absolutely gorgeous, and pre-orders are up on Brandon's website. Starsight, it's amazing. A space spy thriller that beautifully tackles the complexities of war for a young adult audience. Legion 3, you haven't read it yet? It's been a year, come on. White Sand 3, did a little mini review video when it came out. The third installment makes it all worth it. And the Mistborn Dice Kickstarter. If you didn't get in on it, it's officially too late, but they did hit all of their stretch goals, which means instead of 20 dice, I'll be getting 80. There will definitely be an unboxing video. Starting off in summer next year, 2020, there will be a Way of Kings leather bound Kickstarter. It'll be released in two volumes because it's massive. The Kickstarter will include Swag, a possible Stormlight novella, either Wander Sail for Risen, Horn Eater for Rock, or a potential Six of the Dusk sequel. There will be Radiant Order info and customization, and potentially a re ebook release of The Way of Kings Prime. We also have a release date for Stormlight 4, November 17th, 2020. Still tentatively called Rhythm of War, it now features flashbacks from both Eshenai and Venli. From the readings he's given, it's gonna be good. Speaking of readings, there's going to be changes to some signings for Brandon Sanderson's events in the future. They're getting absolutely massive as his popularity grows, so it may go one of two ways. Either longer presentations with a signing lottery, or no presentation and he just signs everything with no personalization and no pictures. If you have a strong opinion on this, head to Brandon's website and vote. He's currently got a poll up so you can voice your opinion. Now. Back to Stormlight. Isaac Stewart, the art director for Team Dragonsteel, is working on a children's book adaptation of The Girl Who Looked Up, which should come out before the holidays next year, potentially paired with the release of Stormlight 4. Also, the planned Stormlight expansion to the Call of Adventure board game by Brotherwise Games has expanded to a full standalone game. It's a character development game. No, like literally, you play the game and develop a character, gaining experiences. Not experience, but experiences that shape who you are. You can team up with those around you for the greater good, or you can sky break them and bring them to dust. That should be out this summer, and the art they've released for it is gorgeous. Another 2020 release is the original, an audio-only novella collaboration with Mary Robinette Kowal. It's already done, and it's probably going to be a 2020 release. It's the story of a government clone created to track down a lawbreaker, and if they succeed, replace them. Kind of like Looper, but without time travel, or Gemini Man, except better because it's by Brandon. And if it goes well, we could get some Legion or Reckoners audio originals in the future. The Dark One graphic novel is well underway. According to Jackson Lansing, who is co-writing the graphic novel, we're set for a release in 2020. There are sample pages in the state, and they are awesome. The television show also has real motion, with a popular showrunner attached, J. Michael Straczynski, who created Babylon 5, Sense8, and even has experience in graphic novels, authoring Superman Earth One. Five, eight. Alcatraz 6, Bastille vs. the Evil Librarians, or Alcatraz vs. his own dumb self, is basically done, with interior artwork and final edits set for 2020, with probably a 2021 release. After Alcatraz is done, work will finally start on The Astlanian, the sequel to The Rhythmatist. Brandon's son, Joel, for whom the main character is named, has finally read Rhythmatist. About time. So we've got someone on the inside pushing for it too. Death by Pizza. <laughs> Death Without Pizza. <laughs> Songs of the Dead, collaboration with Peter Aurelian, is one revision slash draft away from completion. This is about a pizza delivery boy, <laughs> not pizza delivery boy, <laughs> metalhead, and a peculiar flavor <laughs> genre of necromancy, where you get stronger every time you die and come back. We might get a 2021 release, or it may be 2020 if revisions continue to take a while. 
both Wax and Wayne 4 and Skyward 3 should be written next year, which means we should have them for 2021. Speaking of both Wax and Wayne and 2021, that year will be the 10 year anniversary of Alloy of Law so talk of Leatherbounds is in the works. It may be bundled with Shadows of Self into one volume, because they're both shorter. So if you love or hate that idea, there's another poll in the state. I'm not sure if that would mean it would be released in 2021 or 2025. Once Wax and Wayne gets taken care of, Stormlight 5 should be written in 2022, probably released in 2023 or 4. Mistborn Era 3 will then be written in 2023 or 4, or five, but before Stormlight 6. By that point, we should have another graphic novel series following Chris around on Darkseid. It's being outlined right now, but probably won't be published for at least another three to five years. Though a White Sand graphic novel omnibus should be coming out fairly soonish. The Apocalypse Guard, the collaboration with Dan Wells, might be dead. Apparently it just got too weird. Soulburner, or Starburner, a space opera with a cool setting originally mentioned in 2025, has secret progress? I don't know what that means. Adamant, an episodic sci-fi novella series, is still trapped with one episode written. But there are some Cosmere potentials. A Threnody novel, a Six of the Dusk sequel, a Shy story from Emperor's Soul, and Silence Divine is still kicking around. Brandon mentions a secret standalone Cosmere book, which sounds intentionally vague, so that raises more questions than it does answers. And there's a few wobs about the magic kite story, which has apparently been upgraded to a potential YA novel, which at least originally involved an apprentice of Hoyd getting stuck on a minor shard world. In entertainment news, Brandon is now working with Dan Mintz, who is pushing for Cosmere development in Hollywood. Yeah. Dan Mintz. You may know him as Tina Belcher. What? In terms of rights, MGM has Snapshot, Fox used to have Steelheart, but that died with Disney, Cineflix Media has Legion, Skyward and Alcatraz deals are in the works, but nothing is official yet. Brandon himself may break into screenplay writing with Mistborn, while Tina, I mean Dan Mintz, spearheads Stormlight. Brandon also released a current main sequence of the Cosmere, and according to that, Elantris is actually planned to be a trilogy. Nightblood is the only other Warbreaker novel, and Dragonsteel has shrunk down from seven books to just three. And also, there's a trilogy planned for Aether of Night, or at least on that planet with that magic system. This makes 35 Cosmere novels total, plus any other novellas or potential YA diversions. Hopefully he'll have it done before he's 74, because I really want to read and find out. Oh, um, like, subscribe, watch my other videos. Happy Holidays!